Welcome back to Surrounded. This is part two of what I started yesterday, which is by going towards the south, towards the oil rig. And uh, it came a bit longer than what I expected, but I don't, you know, I'm not particularly good with cutting videos. So I just cut it in half, more or less, with the previous one airing yesterday. And now you can see me actually going down to that city that I wanted to visit, towards the oil rig. We still cannot go in there. Despite all my efforts to get an Uyghur key card, we don't have it. But, you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> we will have plenty of excitement, especially towards the end of this video. And, uh, you know, finally I get a legendary melee weapon as well. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but watch it till the end and you will see. I have something that even the dead guy doesn't have. <laughs> Let's get back into it. All right, folks, I'm coming back from the survivor camp, actually. I looked around my key cards and other stuff, and I haven't actually found the oil rig, so that still eludes us a little bit. If I look into here, you can see that I have Creek Prison key card, bunch, private bunker key card, FOB Bravo and Classified Area Keycard. So we don't have the oil rig. <laughs> so I might do the Creek Prison or the FOB Bravo. The FOB Bravo might be a bit too easier to do, I guess. But for that we actually need some preparations. I'm here in the camp because I just bought up this guy's entire stock of credits and now I have Hang on, let me show you that one too. Now I have 39 credits, which is not enough for the largest things, but it should be enough for like one good rifle that we can try. Let me find the vent. I think this is the vent over here. What do you have, dude? Oh, yes, look at that. Valkyrie, highly modified AR-15. Hmm, looks a bit homemade, to be honest. Damage 45. Oh, look at that, Guardian 762, highly modified G G28 rifle. And it only cost 35 credits, so we are just barely able to get this. I know this is a little bit of a a deviation from our goals. We haven't actually found our things, we are buying it. But that's alright. Different people, different playstyles. I'm sure the, uh, the dead guy will not be too disappointed with us. Yeah, and we get love one good rifle. But we are seriously lacking 762 ammo. We only have like 30 which is not too good. And this one, 7.62... Hmm, I need to go home and check if we have a suppressor for it. I'm sure we have a, a, a sight. Uh, 7.62, 7.62... I'm actually wondering if I have anything that would be... Um, like attachments to the gun we already have. I also found these shotguns on my way here, which I wanted to keep for some reason until I figure out which one is better. Oh, this is 7.62, right? Inspect, yeah, it's 7.62. Right, so we can add a suppressor. Oh, what do you mean? I cannot add suppressor. 7.62 suppressor. Huh. Does it have suppressor by default and that's why? No, it wouldn't show up as a as an empty thing here. Hmm, I can't even put the reflex sight on it. This might be a bug though. Let me check if it if it has these things by default. I'm quite curious now. 
Alright, let me put this one in here. And we will take a look at this guardian. Let me get back to you folks when I'm at home. I want you to check if there's any other attachment that I can add to this. I'll be back in a second. Alright, so decided that I take a look into that uh, first patient zero that we visited last time. And as you can tell, it didn't really go well. All the dogs and all the zombies are out there because I shot one with this rifle and it doesn't have a suppressor. It's loud as hell. I might take it out, but uh, let, let me show you how it goes. Yeah, so it's very, very loud. It's not bad, but it definitely needs a suppressor. And, you know, it doesn't have a scope either. So it will take some time for me to go through this, and it would be boring since we did that in the last episode. I cut this part quickly going there just because there's supposed to be a key card there and I'm still hoping for an oil rig key card before we close the episode. But yeah, I will be cutting back when I'm at home and uh, you know, when, when I can see how my attachments will fare. Because I was not able to move the attachments over from another 7.62. I mean, it does a fairly good job though. Out of range of these peeps, and I'm hitting them with 89 damage, 134 headshots. That's not bad for a more or less semi auto rifle. I just need to make sure I'm not getting too close because I do have the dogs there even though they are very small and barely visible also some red zombies if I could aim 107 89 so basically two body kills is taking down a red zombie which is not bad at all. But yeah, you need to be very careful about your distance. So this one is definitely needs a, a better scope, which I can probably check if I have. Sight. <coughs> Hang on to your butts, folks. Right, so I have this ACOG. This one is looking red, so I cannot put this one on. I have this, which is like a, a holographic side, but I cannot put that one on either. Uh, I wonder what can I put on it? It would be stupid, but let me check if I can put on the large scope on it. Hunter scope, no. Sniper suppressor, no. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, this was the 762 that we checked. 762 full auto. And reflex sight? No. I'm not even checking angle for grip. 762 muzzle? No. And it's not about, you know, just putting it over because it's not working from the inventory either. It's, um,. It's a mystery, but at home I have like 10 times more scopes and all kinds of stuff. In spec, let's see if the P90 could take some of it. No. And that's a pistol suppressor, so that's probably not working either. Anyway, I'm not boring you with this part since we have seen this in last episode. Oh, and I'm out of 762 either, so. I definitely need to go home and craft some more ammunition for it. It was a good choice, but uh, it needs some work before we can actually do something good with it. Right, so I, I quickly go through this and I meet you folks back at home.
All right, folks, I'm back at home and I have my fancy gun out with all the sorted attachments and everything. Just wanted to check if any of these would for some reason fit on it. I am not sure. This one is not. This one is 556 five, suppressor, no. Pistol suppressor, no. And we already tried 762 suppressor, which was in. <laughs> pistol, pistol. Those are the stuff that I will sell. Sniper suppressor, I keep this one here. 762 suppressor, and it doesn't go in there either. So I'm kind of perplexed what I am supposed to put in this one. Sight, it is not taking the hunter, not taking the other one, not taking the reflex sight, not taking the ACOG. So I'm kind of not really sure what I should put on this. I bought this legendary gun, but maybe they have a legendary sight and legendary muzzle somewhere in the game and that's how you can make the best weapon possible. But for what I know for now, that I cannot really use this, because if it's not silenced, everybody in a 10 my radius will come at me if I'm actually starting to shooting with it. Which is not good. But I sort it out. I, I sort it out somehow. It might be a bug, it might be that it needs legendary. If you know the answer to that question, leave a comment down below so I can... Actually, you know, don't need to figure it out on my own. Not like I don't want to, but for the moment I don't really have anything else. I mean, I can kind of can shoot people from a distance, but, you know, it's too loud for the moment. And we only have one clip for it, for it so that's not particularly good either. I did make 7.62 rounds since I was at home. So we can technically shoot with it, but I'm not sure I really want to. The other addition is that I found in one of the boxes a Desert Eagle, which is... Again, it even says in the description that it has the big boom. So, you know... <laughs> I'm a bit afraid to use that. I was trying to sort my bags a little bit, but I... St again, starting to have too much bag in a bag. I kept the P90 and the ACI just because we have ammo for it, so if I'm, I'm really out of options I exchange the Guardian for one of these. Or one of these, the Remington. That also was a good friend of us over the course of the past day or so. This stuff is something that I, I still need to see. PU scope, if you know where this one is going to, I'm still looking for suggestions down in the comments. Uh, don't be shy, folks. Le leave a, a comment. Uh, I might need to do a little bit more, of a more sorting because, you know, I still have too many bags. I do need space, though, so I, I'm, I'm currently keeping it and sorting stuff out offline. But uh, the time will come when I will throw out everything, which is less than an Ali's bag, because we don't actually need more than that. We need coiled bags and Ali's bags, and that's it, basically. Everything else can be thrown out. I just need a few more of those. I also found something interesting that I am not sure I have shown you guys yet. That's a military container. Eventually we will replace our container here with this one, if I find another one. Because this is a 4x2 and the military container is a 4x3. So we gain a bit more if we use a military container here. But I have this one sorted out fairly well here. And in terms of key cards, I'm still a bit shot in the leg. I promised you guys oil rig and I still cannot go there. I have airfield, prison, bunker, FOB, Bravo classified area and Borg Creek prison, so mm -mm. I'm tempted actually to go to the airfield just because the that guy also visited that. 
and I haven't seen it myself. I was only watching his video with my half eye closed. And I don't really have anything else. So I guess see you guys at the entrance of the airfield in a second and we are doing our own attempt with that one. Alright folks, I'm actually close to a trader and I wanted to show you guys this wandering guy that I found. Because it has guns that we haven't seen before. Colonel's Revenge, I guess that, that guy knows this one pretty well. I've showed you the Barrett, but we haven't seen this one yet. It's called the Crusher. Looks like a bandit got their hands on this. For 35 credit we should have bought this one. It is by default uh, silenced, I think. And I really like that this part of the gun looks like a leg. <laughs> Interesting. Also, yeah, we have seen this Valkyrie before. This would have been a better choice also. But that's alright. I'm also selling some stuff that I have duplicates at home from uh, like this. But this one I cannot move and I cannot sell. So I probably need a restart before this one is not bugged. For the moment this one is very much a, a bugged item for me. But yeah. So this is something new that we haven't seen before. See you guys around the airfield so we can see if we can go through it just like the dead guy did. See you there. Well, if you have a keen eye, then you probably noticed that we are not at the airfield yet. But maybe I'm near at that large town fairly close to the oil rig down here and I wanted to show you this folks we, we sadly cannot go to the oil rig yet because I don't have a key card but on my way to the airfield I, I knew that there will be big cars here and one of them is the big rig oh yeah and if you open the storage for it look at all that storage if you are the kind of guy who like to store stuff in there vehicles this would probably be one of the best options I oi mate I really like these zombies these are looking like rappers and their trousers have fallen off <laughs> it's very very good and funny design right so oil rig that way big rig repairable I probably take this home at one point, maybe off camera. It drives like hell because it's a big rig. It would need a horn too, but you know, probably not today. I just leave it somewhere here. I will repair it at one point and take it home. But if you're wondering, it's right in front of this land bridge here. E and uh, I guess I try to navigate through this. Our time is limited actually, so I might need to get back to that airfield project in the next video. I don't want this to be too long. I was spending way too much time just looking around stuff. I think we can actually show you the goal of our journey. So that will be the oil rig. But I don't want to go there without a, an actual key card. So, uh, you know, we do what we can at the moment, and that is the airfield. Because for airfield, we have key cards. So we can definitely go there. Hmm, there's an infestation there. I'm tempted. I, I do have time for the infestation, but. Probably not much else. We might take that one out and next episode we are going through this road and reaching the airfield. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't have enough time for it. Uh oh. Ouch. What a ding dong. 
Let me see exactly where that infestation it seems to be in that house. Which is a okay. Let me get this guy out. That seems good. I need to take that guy out too, but if I go loud, I, I have all the red zombies from the neighborhood coming here. Uh, let me see how bad it will get, just out of curiosity. Oh shit. Oh boy, look at that. Everybody is coming there. Luckily not all of them found me, so they... Kind of just shambling around that location. It should be good for us. We get the melee. Oh no, boy. Oh no, no, no. Ouch. Yeah, so this is why I don't go loud. <laughs> mm. See you guys back at this one. Alright folks, on my way back here I found this utility truck, so I'm actually back here fairly fast. I just need to get around these zombies because I literally don't have anything on me and I don't want, especially the runner, I don't want to be chasing me. I try to get around them with a wide area and find my loot box. I still see the infestation is there, which is good. It means that I can actually apply a better approach. Hopefully. Kinda. Alright, so there is my car. And I should be not that far from here. Yeah, this looks good. Let me just go a bit silent. Because I don't want those guys to find me here. Oh! Alright. Entirely too much stuff and things. Let me drop the pants. Get these back in. I drop this container too. Oh, for fuck's sake. 10% health. Oof. Alright. We are getting there. It wasn't the best sortie, but... I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Oh, the game is getting a, a little bit luggy. Sidearm. <laughs> oh, wait, this one has modified, so now you need to go to two tabs instead of one when you are recovering your corpse. Absolutely horrible game dev decision. But that's alright. I'm just talking like that because I'm a bit pissed of me dying after 8 days of survival. We are getting good though. Eventually. Alright, so this should be done. Let me... First of use that. And then I put some... Equipment out. Oh, come on. Come on, game work. I put some large and some small military and otherwise good health kits. And the second thing I need to do is basically put down this cursed rifle. Or should I actually? Hmm. Hang on. I do have 7.62. A lot. So I might just, you know, do a little bit of a climbing and do our work from there. But 
But before I get into that, oh boy. Oh, ammo. I like that. Alright, so first things first before I, you know, leave and die again. I put down a. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh. There it is. Huh, for some reason, my game is thinking that I'm, I'm wearing a, a gun. Alright, so I set. Oh no, I cannot set. A spawn point. Alright, this seems to have worked, let me see. Alright, so I set my spawn point. And I do hear somebody is trying to do a, a dirty. Let me see if I can. Uh is my way on top of this bus. Alright, let's see. Where are you guys? Yeah, get thrilled. an explodey one but that 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 is actually not too bad for us I can throw another mullet of there to kind of sort out these folks huh doesn't look like it is doing much large pile of beer the zombie alright so that is good do I have something on the other side let me quickly before we get deeper in there I refill well not really refill we only have three but I do my best eliminate that thing. I think we were loud enough so we will not see any. Problems. And while that grills I try to loot some of these. Oh yay. I'm trying to keep a distance because At one point they will start respawning. Oh yeah, that's Desert Eagle ammo. Which I haven't actually shown you folks how it works. Oh, we need that. We need that too. Well, the problem with these big piles is that you can't really judge what you have looted and what you haven't. Alright, let me throw the second one in. And I think they should come after the second one, so let me keep a distance. Oh yeah, boy. Some of the respawning ones. I wasted too much. Oh, and I forgot to reload also. There you go. Summer Childs. Let me see if something new comes along. I don't think so, we should be good. Oh. Oh, never mind. 
No ticket. <laughs> As Indiana Jones said. If you have that reference. And there was one on the other side too. With no loot. Alright, we are getting good. Chugging the last Molotov. Keeping the distance. And I think I should have one grenade. No, two grenades. Oh, that's majestic. Alright, we are half, uh, da halfway down. Pong. Infestation weakens. Oh, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Oh boy! I stuck there. These guys are dead as hell. Oh, there's one more here. The one that was blocking us. Alright. I know it's a bit of a cheesy way to do it like this. But as you can tell, it's not really worth the effort to do it any other way. Alright. Last grenade. Oh boy. More of them coming every day. Alright, let's go in the middle, because that part is not riddled with corpses yet. These look like just normal ones. And the last one, yeah, some ammo. We are kind of out, but I think we can actually afford to go a bit loud. Let's see what this... Desert Eagle can do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me change. Let me change. Oh boy. This ain't good. We are running out. Oof. The ugly guardian saved us. Oof. Oh, there's one here too. Oof. Infestation central. Uh, that one will definitely come for us. Let me do a little bit of a reload. Ow! Anybody else heard that? Oh, we should be good. Alright, so. Inspect. Reload. Ow! I just reloaded, folks. For fuck's sake. Inspect. Reload. Inspect. Reload. And reload. Alright, it should be good. Let's see how it does against this. Damn, it doesn't do any damage to the pile. Huh. Alright, then melee it is. Somebody else is in town too. Oof. Really? Oh boy! Oh. 
infestation weekends. Oh boy, I don't like that. Hey, let me get to my safe bus. My emotional support bus. You guys are getting ridiculous. Oof. Oh, the blood bath. Look at all the bodies. But we are getting there, folks. We are getting there. Probably need to cut this a bit better. Oof. Alright. Let me see. Oh no, boy. No, no, no. I'm not milling the red zombie yet. Oh, jeez, Louis, more of them. Alright, stand in line, folks. Stand in line. Even the sun is going down. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, and this one exploded as well. Hmm. Let's see a bigger mat kit. And then some of that. And the sun is going down. Oh boy. Infestation beacons, my ass. <laughs> oh no, boy! No, 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 no! Run, 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 run! No, not crouch, run! Boy, this is so bad. Oh, oh 9% health, and I forget to press the magic button to heal myself. But that's good, we can actually do that. Oh, come on. Like this. Oof. Weakens my ass. And I have not reloaded this one either. Hang on. Two. Reload. Reload the second. Inspect. Reload. Alright, anybody else has a problem? I have done going... Okay, another exploded one. Infestation weakens my ass. Still need to hit it a few times. Alright, let me prep for that. Let's see how my respirator is doing. It is doing poorly. Let me replace that. Alright, we should be good. Let me do the final swing. Oh, for fuck's sake, they are still here. That's one. And I saw another one there. Really, boy? Alright, let me... Ah, let me... Oh no, everything is out. This is the most intense thing that ever happened here. Alright, reload that. Reload that. And we can... What do you mean out? There are 20 ammo in that one. Uh, 
I think my guardian, the legendary weapon, is bugged out. But that should be the last one. I hope. Oh no, boy. Get out of here. I did melee one of the red zombies. Oh, there's just some money in it. Uh, but I think we managed to... Oh no, it still has like one. Infestation destroyed. <gasps> A katana! Yes, please. Give me that. I definitely need that. This was well... Oh, look at that. Corner's liver Revenge Hollow Sight. So there are legendary attachments. It's just not the one that I actually needed. That's alright. This was good still. The katana will be the best thing. And the best about that is that the dead guy actually hasn't found yet one yet, so... It will be completely new to him. He haven't seen that this game has a katana. So, even though we didn't go to the airfield or the oil rig in this long episode, I did actually manage to show you guys something that you haven't seen before. A new legendary melee weapon. I need to sniff through this pile of everything, but, you know, this was one episode, look at all these carnage. I haven't even checked some of these, and some of them even despawned. But yeah, so we are king of the hill, I guess, more or less. And we only died once. Mm. Bit longer, but hopefully it's something that you guys will like. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, I will reply to everybody and uh, see you folks in the next adventure. Bye bye.